there is a way to turn this stuff into a whole lot of this stuff for cheap. Let me show you how. International Stacker. All right, guys, this is a repost, but with the recent run up, I'm looking at $29 spot right now, headed towards 30. We were 30. We got a little bit of a decrease right now. But this is a critical video for all of you. This is a plan I'm planning to execute. How to turn silver into more gold than you could have bought in the first place. Let's go. Hey guys, International Stacker here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please smash like and subscribe. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm and share this video. And ladies and gentlemen, this video is gonna blow your mind. Let me show you how you can turn all of this into some of this. And just for reference, that's about 100 ounces of silver. And one more thing, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Please read my disclaimer in the description below. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. And last time someone pointed, yelled at me for using my hands and they wanted a pointer. So I'm going to use this. Oh, wait, I'll just use the mouse. <laughs> All right, so what you're looking at is the last 20 years of gold and silver. Sorry, I talk with my hands, guys. I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm not even Italian. This is the last 20 years of gold and silver. These red numbers down here is the low. The green number here is high. This is the gold to silver ratio, also known as the GSR. The important thing about this chart is there's zero, zero US dollars on here. This is all in gold and silver. So what the gold to silver ratio means is how much silver it takes to make like one gram of gold, or it would be one ounce of gold, how many ounces of silver it makes to takes to make one ounce of gold. All right, so last time you're gonna see my hands, I promise, five minutes. So anyways, I did it from here from the year 2000. These numbers might be off by like one or two, but nothing major, because I just hovered over the graph, but here we go. This is why I stack silver. This is why I follow the strategy I do. Everyone has their own strategy, but here's what I do. For instance, if you would have started stacking in 2000, and over three years you made 100 ounces of silver, and then you stop stacking, you are not gonna accumulate any more silver for the rest of this graph, just to prove this point. So after three years, you accumulate 100 ounces. So the high would have been 78.4. So at this point, it takes 78 ounces of silver to make one ounce of gold. So then you hold on to the silver and you don't buy any more. Between this high and this low was three years. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, when I say stacking precious metals, it's for the long term. Long term can be anything from a couple years to a decade even longer, okay? Especially when you're doing plays like this. So... It was three years and it went from a high of 78.04 to a low of 44.99. So if you took those 100 ounces of silver and traded it in for gold at that point, you would get 2.2 ounces of gold, okay? If you went another three years from the low of 44.99 to the high of 79.89 and you traded in your gold, your 2.2 ounces for silver, you would end up with 177 ounces of silver so you've almost doubled okay between here and the next low was another three years and just in case you wondered this is the swing so from here to this low was a swing of 34.98 ounc uh, ounces uh yeah well ounces i guess so bang down there if you would have taken all that silver at that point and traded it in at 31.6 you would have gotten 5.61 ounces of gold Remember, we only bought silver and accumulated year one, and now we have 5.61 ounces of gold just by trading back and forth. From this point to the recent high was nine years. So when I say it's a long-term thing, it's long-term. But the important thing here is even five years later, you could have traded it in here and made a killing. But you don't want to trade it in until it's starting its downtrend, okay? So if you would have gone from here to there, which is a span of nine years, up to 114.77, which is, which was one of the highs of where we're at. I think it was actually more like 120, but it's to be more conservative. You would have 643.86 ounces. So over 20 years, just with a, starting with 100 ounces over the last 20 years, playing the ratio, you would have ended up with 643 ounces. Okay, 
643 ounces of silver and all you bought was 100. The important thing here is you're never changing it into paper. You're never changing it into fiat currency. You're only going from gold to silver, silver to gold, okay? Another fun thing I did here is I said, okay, what if we raise the stakes? So my stack is a little over 6,000 ounces. It was like 66, but I sold the 500, if you remember, back in February, because I had to. I know, I asked dumb, I had to. I had to, guys. Um, that goes back to my statements on emergency funds and all that, so make sure you watch those videos. So with 6,000 ounces, this is where we're at now. We're dropping down. If it goes to 40 to one, and I trade out 6,000 ounces, I end up with 150 ounces of silver, gold, I mean. If it gets down to the last low, 31.6, I would walk away with 189 ounces of gold. By doing this, you end up with way more and it costs you way less than if back here you would have just bought 189 ounces of gold. Now here's the fun thing. If you started here with 11.83 ounces of gold and then you did the same play, you would have had 923 ounces of silver. And then you did the same play, you would have gone to 20.56 ounces of gold same play same increase we just talked about Woo! sorry about that guys i got excited the same play we just talked about up here you'd have a 1643 roughly same play down to here you would have 51.97 same play up here you had 5968 and down here you'd have 150. so from starting with 11.83 ounces of gold you could get to 150 ounces of gold playing the ratio i don't know about you but those returns are crazy now what are the benefits of this gold to silver ratio? Let me, well, let me straighten that out for all my OCD watchers out there. But the beauty of this is your metals are working for you. You can jump from silver, from gold to silver, silver to gold for a 20 year span without any money leaving your hand or any currency. And fiat currency literally means to let it be into existence. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's backed by faith. In 1971, we went off the gold and silver um, back in our money. So you never have to deal with it. It's just gold to silver, silver to gold. You're letting your metals work for you. No fiat currency. And then here's a side note. Now, I know people are going to be like, well, there's a fee. You're not going to get exact trade. Maybe it's an LCS or bullion dealer. They want to make money. Yeah, I totally get that. So even if you took a 10% haircut, even if you took a 10% haircut on each swing, Still epic. Still epic. Still epic gains. Now, how are you going to play the gold to silver ratio? Here's what I recommend because every area is different. One, LCS is a choice. LCS stands for local coin shop. Do not just talk to the ones in your area. Talk to out. So what you do is you call up and say, hey, I've got uh, 2,000 ounces of silver. I want to trade in gold. What kind of rate would you give me? And they're going to give you a rate. Call around. From my experience, LCS has seemed to be a little, a little on the more on the cutthroat side. Let's let's put Braveheart on here right now while I'm talking because I'm holding right now. Um, LCS can be a little cutthroat. Once you get those numbers, call a few in your area and maybe call one like a couple hours away. You're willing to drive for 150 ounces of gold or whatever it ends up being. Two, call some bullion dealers. There's several big name bullion dealers: Provident Metals, um, SD Bullion, Antmex. All these companies buy. Okay, contact them and see if they're willing to do a trade. A lot of times they have, they will do trades, believe it or not. They don't always just buy back. And usually if you're doing trades with an LCS or online bullion dealer, you get a better rate. Three, you go to that video that I made not long ago and I'll, I'll try to put it at the end if I can remember. I'm gonna try to remember guys. I never remember when I say this. Um, you do the different groups and platforms, Facebook, Okay, and one of those secure uh, lock groups, only with people with references, only people with references. You can use applications, you can use things like um, uh, bulletin boards, you can use YouTube, there's all kinds of things. So that's what I'm planning to do, guys. I'm planning to play this ratio. Yeah, but everyone's gonna wanna do it at the same time. Yeah, but everyone wants to buy Silver Eagles right now at the same time and people are still scooping them up. There's always gonna be opportunities, you just have to be willing to execute. And no, you're never gonna be get it at the very bottom. You're never gonna get it at the very top. You're just gonna have to do your best. Like if we, we're in the 80s now, so if I, I bring up the chart right here, we're 81.5 right now, okay? You best believe if we drop below 50, I'm gonna start looking at changing out some of my stack. I'm not gonna be like, I gotta wait for the bottom, it's gotta get 31. 
Once we get 50 or below, I'm going to start trading some stuff, trading out to gold, trading out to gold. Gold is the ultimate. That's what countries stack. That's what the central banks stack. Gold. Gold has thousands of years of history as a monetary metal. Silver has thousands of years too. And one reason too, I like silver a bit better than gold besides that, I um, mean, it being the ultimate store of the value is the industrial demand for silver. Best conductor of electricity. It's used for um, antibacterial properties, yoga pants, water purific purification, medical industry, um, all different kinds of things. You're never gonna perfectly time it. But ladies and gentlemen, if you can time it, the rewards can be great. So here's the chart. I started back in about 2016. So if I would have had, <laughs> if I wanted to buy 150 ounces of gold back then, that would have cost me $188,000. To date, between my gold and silver, I'd have to look at my spreadsheet, but I believe I'm at $118,000. So you see, by playing the gold to silver ratio, you end up with more gold or more silver than you would have ever had, if that doesn't make it evident. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Am I crazy? Tell me in the comments below, is this your strategy? If this changed your perspective on the gold to silver ratio, I want to know it, guys. Because I knew what my strategy was, but even when I was figuring this out, I'm like, man, this is, I mean, I knew it was good, but I'm like, man, this is really good. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hate begging for it, but the YouTube algorithm forces us every like, every comment, and as a matter of fact, if you love this video and you share it with your friends, families, or even strangers to get them into stacking, it helps me greatly to grow the Crustacean Nation. And if you don't know about the crabs, you gotta come to a live stream. I promise, a stream, the stream. I promise it's not crazy, I promise you'll love it. But anyways, just like Braveheart in this time, I'm still holding, I'm hoping and praying, and I really have a feeling there's gonna be a pullback when this stimulus comes out, which it sounds like we're close. And until next time, I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey to find silver.